Good morning. Good afternoon. No, it, it is on. It's, it's just on. to the okay. tape. It's not uh, to the Good home. morning. Good afternoon. I'm uh, proud to see everyone was able to make it. Um, it's sort of hard to keep talking about it because uh, it shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't happen to me. It shouldn't happen to any other disabled people with disability. Uh, what I'd like to say about the tape is it's all true. You know, none of it is fiction. I went through a housing program to get it. Uh, I really want to thank Martha Scott, her team. I want to thank all of the staff from uh, uh, the eviction defense uh, moratorium now, Ms. Franklin from uh, Warriors on Wheels, and all of the disabled people that were able to uh, make it here today, which are good friends of mine that we've been through a lot of things, playing basketball, traveling the world, you know, getting able to, to just really be independent for ourselves to see how we can help other disabled people become independent. I'd like to thank my lawyer. He's here now, Bob Day, for uh, all the nights he's uh, been up, sleep, unsleep, writing and putting stuff together. Uh, Mike Shane has been a great uh, person in my life to uh, really be there every time I needed him. It's just so bad that situations come like this, and we have to, uh, you know, we have to fight, and we don't need, we don't really shouldn't have to fight for something that's given to you. You know, it came from a dream, and from a dream now it's erupted to. I'm sitting in here telling y'all that I didn't want to be in the politic part of this, but it's here, so now I got to stand up and really just do what I need to do to make things come out the way they should come. Uh, I've contacted Robert Ficano, never called me back. Uh, it just shows that our city, you know, we need city leaders now that will stop this corruption. You know, Wayne County needs to know that the feds are here, and we need this to stop. Because if this keeps going on, there's a lot of people here today that they're afraid to come here because they don't want to be in the situation that I'm in. But like I tell them, you sit back and let Wayne County and CLS keep doing what they're doing, you'll be here someday. It's for sure that you'll be right here, sitting in the same situation that I'm sitting in. So with that said and done, I'm glad that uh, everybody was able to make it. I'm glad that y'all supported me, because I've been through a lot. You know, my health is bad. I just got a, a report the other day that you know, I'm not going to get any better. So the stress has took my life to another whole different point. As a guy, I thought that, you know, I thought guys don't have stress. But uh, it's really a thing that shows that, you know, guys do have stress. Because I look at how some people that uh, work for Fukano that's had so many problems that they go home and blow their brains out because they don't want to come and sit in here and tell the truth about it. You know, we got a commissioner group here that is divided. You know, our city is divided. You know, they're trying to move our city in, into one section and make it farmland. That's not what this city is all about. Detroit, is, you know, being a growing up kid from the north end of Detroit and the bottom, we call it the black bottom, the poor part of Eastern Market. You know, we, we did a lot of stuff to get to this point. And now that we're at this point, I say that we got to keep fighting. You know, foreclosure on people's homes, I think it's so unfair for the simple fact that, you know, I've met some people that have lived in their home for 30 years. Now it should be their home. But yet they're finding a way to say, okay, your taxes is due. You know, your kid didn't take care of your taxes. Your mortgage company didn't put the taxes in your mortgage. So now they come along and they take your home. I think that's so very unfair. I traveled to Chicago to talk to Fannie Mae, and we went all the way to Chicago to sit in front of Fannie Mae's, and then they tried to arrest us. They told us if we cross the line, we're going to jail. So they come down and get one person out of the whole 40, 50 people that's outside, and then they bring armed people, they bring armed guards down. As if we come there to start some, we went there to just simply sit down at a table with them and try to rectify 
the problem of these people losing their homes. You know, people really fighting. You know, uh, we want Jennifer Britt's home. She's very uh, one of the ones with our group that, uh, you know, what they did to that lady was so unfair. They made her pay so much money to now she's still paying money. And I think that is so unfair. She paid $45,000 over what she paid for her house, and now she's at the point again of paying $25,000 more. That is outrageous for people to do that to people. So with that, I'm just saying, you know, we need to find out who we, how we can get for Connor to sit down. It's some kind of way to make him sit down because he has to have a boss too. And if his boss looks at that, he's not going to do anything for anybody, then we'll know next time that we will not reelect those ones to make decisions for us. We have a mayor that, you know, I tried to talk to, been to his office, and all, all of his people are telling me, well, you need a lawyer. Okay, I already know I need a lawyer, but I need to talk to him. You know, I know Dave being personally. You know, I know his, his stepson is my, is my best friend. So it was like, you know, to go through that transition of trying to talk to him and nobody wanted to talk, have him talk to me, I think that's unfair. I think that at any time that you need someone else to help you as an able-bodied or disabled person and they know the conditions that you're in and what you can stand, they should step up to the plate. They should, they should have no doubt. You know, now when I lay down at night, I can't even sleep because I'm wondering. When is the dumpster going to be in front of my house? But I guarantee anybody in this room, they put a dumpster in front of my house, it's going to be a bad situation. It's really going to be a bad situation because I've done too much in that home for them to come and sit my stuff on the grass. I'm not going for that. You know, and I'm, I'm saying that in, in a point that, you know, I'm tired. You know, you get tired of fighting, but you have to keep fighting. You go to bed dreaming, well, what's going to happen? When is it going to happen? But I, like I said, I'm really blessed to have uh, the people that I have that's with me. That's 100%. They're not 99%. They're 100%. Because they're there every time I need them. Day or night, I can call them. They're getting up out their bed. They come. I don't have to worry about that. So 